Hey, hello guys, and welcome to Agrarian Skies episode 9. Uh, that's what I believe. So, uh, as I've said, when there's too many numbers thrown into my head, I get real. My brains just turn to mush, and then, yeah, apparently these guys can store a lot more than uh, I thought they, they could. So, what you can do is to set a bound C. Uh, the default key is C for hover mode. So, let's hover. Uh, it will gradually go down so be wary of that so you can just uh, tap and hold space what I'm laying out is the foundation for our uh, uh, auto processing stuff I'm just gonna make it like a, a block lower so that it, it, it has like some gradient to it so uh, I'm laying out the foundation now so I'm gonna get myself some seared bricks to make a bunch of smelteries uh, I'll be back when that's done though Hey, uh, I'm kind of back. I gotta show you guys something. Uh, I actually bought meal and then I used the sickle to actually take care of all those uh, tall grass. And actually, I got myself a ton of seed. I can basically get anything I want from uh, Hunger Overhaul, like rice. I do have rice seeds, I guess. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, so what I've done is I've got myself some soya bean seeds, and I've actually got myself some soya beans. And I've also made a presser from. Uh, Pumps harvest craft base. Yep. Uh, what you do is you get your soybean inside. You plant those soybean down. Uh, you grow them. Uh, you kind of get soybean. These these guys. Uh, these guys they split into two stuff. When you press it down, you get soy milk, which is kind of cool. I've got some really good plans coming up for cooking. Uh, automating myself some food. Soy milk. You can actually use this to uh, grab some cheese, and I can make cheeseburger. I'm gonna show you how. Uh, first, you want to get yourself some silken tofu. Uh, when it's done, uh, it's kind of buggy here. Firm tofu, and when you have firm tofu, you want to get yourself a skillet, which I've done inside my A system. Uh, a skillet and a firm tofu, and the toast gets, gets you a hamburger. I'm kind of low on my hunger, so let's see how much this heals. It's three and a half. It's uh, much better than the KFC because it's so simple. I've, I've, I've actually automated toast and it won't be hard to automate this uh, this guy so I just dump this guys in I just make a interface along with some pattern encoder stuff and I can just pull these guys out soy bean can be soy milk I can just dump the silken tofu back in soy milk can be used for making cheese which I can add on to this burger to make it a cheese burger oh my god the possibilities are endless with this guy so uh where's my skillet i believe i've dumped it on the ground somewhere i don't know let me just absorb it back oh got it uh it flew straight onto me gonna get myself some cheeseburger you can also make some eggs i believe firm to i don't know how firm tofu gets listed with all those uh chicken raw chicken cooked oh lightning i just, I just said lightning uh, so let's see how we can get cheese. I believe I've done this uh, with off camera. Uh, soy milk, salt, and pot. Where's the pot? Is it in my system? Let me see. Yep, the pot is in my system. So I think I can just do cheese. Okay, so just press this. Uh, add my soy milk in. I get myself a cheese, and I can just add on to this hamburger to make it a wholesome meal. A cheeseburger is definitely much better than the uh, normal burger. I guess I just got to run around. Uh, I've actually got myself uh, six stacks of seared bricks, as you can see. Uh, almost six stacks. Wait, let's see how much. I've actually done dumped a lot into my automated uh, setup. So I've actually dumped some here, also some downstairs, which goes directly into my AE system. So no prop with that. Uh, but first. Uh, we need to get ourselves a couple smelteries, which is uh, going to be a problem. I've did some math. I probably need around like four smelteries, so small four smeltery controllers. That's great. Uh, and we need smeltery tanks, right? Smeltery tanks. Uh, I'm not so experienced at. Whoa, that just went missing. I guess I have to tap it on on top. Where's my smeltery tanks? Okay, this is apparently not what you want to search for. Search for tanks. See it, tanks. Okay, uh, one. I've got to dump these guys in so it'll work. One, two, three. That's enough. That's four. Uh, what we, what else do we need for the smeltery? I'm not too sure. I guess we need a drain. We need a couple drains. So let me just set these guys up. Uh, so that you can 
uh, see how it works. I've got some lava here so I can just channel it back, uh, channel it into those smelteries so it won't be uh, that, that difficult. I guess I can just put a tank here, get myself some bricks. I ship bricks. So I'm going I'm I'm going to try to get automation done this episode. I try as in I don't know whether it's going to get done this episode. I'm just going to make some I I've got to make a couple cuts in order to make this happen. Uh I I apparently no magic, so don't worry. I can make this happen. Uh and mobs are going to spawn here, so let me just put a torch. I think I can go one level up. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh let me just repeat this here so let's see they don't whether they intersect or not I've got to get myself like at least uh, two floors of this smeltery guys I think I can pull the liquids out the back because these guys aren't gonna work or I can actually pull these guys out here and uh, these guys on the other side so it won't be a problem at least I believe uh, yeah it's I think it's work no wait these guys are working so I've got to take the bottom the bottom area of the smeltery so that it actually register itself as a smeltery and I'm gonna get this done uh, I'll make four of those and I'm gonna tell you my plans for how to automate this guys yeah because smeltery actually doubles uh, what you get from the ores, the broken ores so it will be a interesting way to see how I automate this stuff so hey quick cut here to actually show you guys I've actually re I'm actually going to receive the reward for milking those cows Strong bones, gotta claim this guys. You know you get the red hot canisters which is pretty oh we gotta choose one, what we gonna choose, what we gonna choose, you don't know what you're gonna get. Epic reward back, oh this might be really good. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so what did we get? I'm breaking well that is really not epic at all. So let me just dump this guys in here, it's gonna get myself some health increase and yeah I'll Hey, it would appear that I've dipped. Uh, I don't really need four. I, I think I just need three. I'm finishing up. Uh, I'm finishing up the. I'm finishing up the piping for the seared, uh For the smelteries, I prefer uh, the pipes going in like more like this because you can actually see the lava going in. That's really kind of cool. But I'm not. Uh, it's been a space constraint to do it here. But why not just do it? Because. Uh, it actually looks kind of cool though, you see the pipes going out from the ground and actually emit, it actually emits some light so uh, it's not a bad idea to actually do it that way and also I think I can use uh, hollow brick covers to actually cover those up I will show you probably now uh, now will be a good time to show you what you can do with the micro... micro... micro blocks? Uh, yeah that's what it's called so you get these covers you cover them you surround them by themselves and you can do this which is uh, pretty awesome uh, they look they, it actually looks pretty awesome so I've connected those uh, guys up with my lava generator so it actually kind of actually works uh, so we actually have lava inside our smeltery and I've actually hollowed out this area why are these guys here are they ghost blocks uh, yeah, they are ghost blocks. Uh, somehow they went in. That's weird. That is really weird. Oh, I've actually took apart the smeltery without me knowing it. Uh, that's my mistake. So uh, let me just fix it back here. And also, we need smeltery drains for this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get those done. Uh, I think I can do it now. How many do we need? We need like nine drains and also a lot of casting basins. I believe nine. That's just nice. We need more. Uh, we need more seared bricks. We are cooking some up in the meantime. Uh, oh, whoa, they are not positioned in the way I want it to. This hover mode is really pretty awesome, just to say. And also, what we are going to do is uh, show you guys this. I'm gonna set this one up uh, for iron. Uh, iron. Uh, I don't know. We need a bucket of iron so we can specify uh, that we want iron going out of that fluid duct so uh, we're gonna grab some iron from uh, somewhere around here I've got to sort them by name no wait by number of items I know iron is one of the top most items that we're going to get from uh, just stuff okay so I think I can do it here I'm gonna show you guys how to do this you know I've got to wait for this to smelt up and I'll be right back hey now those are done let me just pull this into the portable tank uh, it isn't going in so that's a problem I've got to uh, 
I should switch these guys up and let's see how much we get. Uh, these guys are going in now. Uh, we need a bucket. Oh, we got we actually got like two buckets. So we we actually only needed one to actually uh, specify that we want uh, iron just going up. So we need pneumatic servos. Pneumatic servos. We don't have them. Uh, let me just auto craft. Oh, we can't, I can't auto craft them. I don't have the thing set up. So uh, I'll just craft them normally here. I've actually got to make sure I've got some standby. I'm gonna use aluminum because I'm saving stuff up. I've actually used all my redstone. I don't know why I'm so dumb. Ah, I've actually got like 600 or actually more than that stored over there. So I wouldn't mind actually taking away some from my current system. Okay, so we need a casting basin now. Casting basin, we got it done. Set right here. And we can actually do this. I'm going to whitelist uh, molten iron to come out from this fluid duct so uh, it's gonna always be working so what we are going to do is we can actually pipe some we can actually pipe iron inside here using ME system I'm I think I'm just gonna use my ME system to pipe stuff here I'm not gonna do something fancy like item ducts it's crazy but what we are going to do is item ducts from this goes and it goes back into my A system uh, so it'll be a lot more easier than just random stuff so I'm gonna do this for every single every single uh, type of metal that we get from the uh, sifting and I will be back when everything is done wow this took so long you don't even know how it works uh, <laughs> nah just kidding so basically uh, what I'm going to do now is to go underneath my basins which is uh, around here I'll just put some item ducts uh, to actually pull those guys out uh, and I'll put down some levers to actually facilitate this pulling out action that uh, I've got going on so uh, this thing hasn't start working yet but it will soon uh, I promise you uh, this is going to work the way I want it to and also uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, I think I can start doing a quest uh, I don't know okay uh, I really don't know what to do now I'm not gonna do bees. I'm gonna check about bees because uh, bees is not something I really want to go deep into. I, I really don't like bees. I've I've actually played bees before. I've actually made quite a ton of stuff, but it just takes it. It takes a ton of time that I don't even feel like I'm up for it. It's really kind of tedious and stuff. I, unless you guys actually want, uh, if you guys request me to do bees, I will do bees, and I'll get uh Jeff to actually help help me out. Because uh, it is really tough doing it alone. Uh, oh god, never mind. Uh, I'm actually hovering in hover mode. Uh, so these things aren't that tough for me to click. I have to click the correct one though. I need some more item ducks. I don't know. Do I have the correct amount? Let's see. Okay. Yup, we got the perfect amount. That is crazy. So we've got everything set up. I hope I have enough juice in this jackpack to keep me going. Yep, uh, that, that, what, what, okay, so, now that I've got this done, I've actually set up, uh, the, uh, precision import bus here to import stuff. I actually feel like I want to do the, let me show you, let me show you guys something, uh, which I'm, I was planning to do just to improve the efficiency of these guys. So, let me get some tin, uh, I'll, I'll use the Emmy system, Emmy. I'll use the Mac to auto craft this and uh, I'll use the autonomous activators to put this down and then break it using the diamond hammer and then I can use the uh, ME transi transition pane. I remember I remember there's a pane for ME system where you can actually uh, it acts like a hopper but yeah it's actually kind of cool. Uh, this one transition plane it acts like a hopper whatever falls on it goes straight into the ME system. Uh, that's really cool though. I really want to do it because this will actually improve our all situation a lot better. As you can see, I've, I've I put in eight and I've got like ten out out of it. And I, and well, I can't speak. And I can actually repeat the process to actually get more to actually get the pulverized version of this. So let's see how much we actually get from those. Okay, that's forty seven. Uh, we got eleven, just shy of the twelve block. Oh, we actually got twelve. No wait, that's that. That's more. That we got like thir thirteen from those, and what we can do is use our ME system to, uh, 
pipe uh tin where do we have tin uh going uh this silver and copper i think we have tin going inside here so we can actually specify these guys to actually export tin or dust oh i have i've haven't got this wired up so let me just do it quickly uh where's my nearest me system pipe thing i think here we'll do uh, I'll just run this over to the other side. My voice is getting a little bit hoarse. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so let me just get this done. Okay, it's all wired up. I can actually put this inside my ME system and we'll see uh, this being exported. I'll put 12 in and I can go straight down here. Specify I want this guys here. Stack mode and boom. We've got this guys in the smeltery. Uh, smelting up stuff and uh, let's see whether we can do this I will I mean I don't know whether I should make a cut but I will make a cut when this is actually done and let's see these guys being pulled out hey uh, it actually works so what I'm going to do now is to do the system that I've talked about uh, before before I get all this stuff into my A system I've got to set everything up so it doesn't mess up so let's see I think I can just do this here so I can just get a export burst along with the uh wait we do need something okay we do have a jetpack so don't actually worry about me I'm nothing I'm nothing to worry about so we need the ME transition plane I've just realized that ME transition planes doesn't work with that setup and I've switched it out with vacuum hoppers and I've encoded some of the patterns needed and that I want it to go inside this thing so it's just gonna move and craft uh, seems to be working uh, and this guy seems to be breaking it pretty fast and uh, Gotta warn you guys that I actually need a uh, Item duck there to actually make it work because it won't uh, when you have an enemy in the face down there It doesn't seem to work with those guys. I don't know why it must have been a bug. It shouldn't work that way So let me just get this done. It seems to be working now. We are gonna get pulverized uh, uh, Iron ore in my enemy system. Let, let's see pulverized iron ore so uh, let me just encode this guys in here one two three four encode iron ore dust that is exactly what i want iron ore dust gets in there i um, don't know i'm debating whether i want to get this system actually up and running because i'm gonna have to get nine times three of those guys uh yeah that is going to be a tough one i think i'm just gonna do this for iron because i'm in great need of iron i'm always in need of iron so uh I've got some weird ME cabling down there. I f please forgive me for wasting a ME cable there. Ah, uh, whatever. I actually lost that one. So, uh, where's the? Okay. So what we want to do is move single items. There's craft always active, and let me just specify iron ore dust to go in there. Yep. Let's see how it works. So it should be going in there now. I don't know why this thing bugs out. We do have a ton of fuel here. It's always full, but. It, it just displays it as seven it's less than a bucket so that's not exactly what we want so we can actually dump these guys in here now that we know it works so we can actually get more of these iron ore dust working I might have to actually expand these guys upwards so uh, but the thing is I really want these guys to look short compared to my massive uh, main smeltery that I've got so they look kind of if this thing looks a lot intimidating than this guys so it's actually kind of one of the aspects that I want to keep inside my base so this I have no use for this so let me just put this inside debating whether I want to do this for all those you got to comment down below see whether you want to see more of this system because I can actually put uh, more export buses here onto the sides and down so it would actually work but the thing is we do need more export bus to make ourselves hammer I really don't need diamond hammers here maybe I should actually use this for uh, stuff that I'm really in need for like iron, gold, uh, possibly some other stuff I'm not too sure platinum, platinum or shiny ingots I do need them very much uh, as much as possible so I'm getting low on food so I'll see you guys in the next episode with automated hamburgers yep see you guys next time peace